We're here at Guardian Angel Convent. Uh, we have four young women with us who are studying in Duhok, and they are being supported by Student to Student Coalition in Help Iraq uh, through your generous support. Uh, we're here to talk to them and get to know them and um, just know what their experiences are. And so uh, they will be responding to our questions in Arabic and Deacon Fadi will translate. And so first, our first question is uh, what your name is, as well as uh, uh, what degree you're doing and, as, and how much longer you have. She said uh, her name is Elishwa Ishu and she's from Deraluk in Amadia and it's about an hour and a half away from Tok. We, before being in this uh, dormitory, she was another one where it was really struggle. She was living with um, just a you know, group of people, women from different backgrounds, and it was a real struggle for them. And they usually were mistreated a little bit. They would get the least as students uh, compared to other students that had different uh, backgrounds in their faith. But she's very thankful now for as to us providing for them to live here um, in this house where they're all Christian girls with the same background, the same mentality. Um, she's saying that they're really comfortable here um, and they're very thankful for the, all the support that they've received. Okay. <coughs> كنا عايشين بأقسام حكومية ويا الأسلام أنا وصديقتي إلى شوى تقريبا قرفتنا كانت كلش صغيرة كانت تجي أيام كان تقريبا أسبوع كامل كنا نظل بدون ماء إحنا المسيحيين أنا وياهمية كنا بالأقسام نطونا أصغر غرفة بالأقسام الحكومية حتى يعني ما كانت ذيك الغرفة كانت مسافة صغيرة بيناتنا بين شفاياتنا كانت أكو هواية حشرات أكو يمنا this is Maryam, she's from Zaho and currently she's studying accounting. Very similar story to um, Elishwa where they live in a um, dormitory that was run by the government and from all the students they got the smallest room uh, because of their um, faith background. They got the smallest room and house that they were living in, um, she was saying it was very dirty and it was not comfortable at all for students to be living in. Um, but now that they're living in this house, it's a beautiful house, beautiful place, they're comfortable and thankful for all that has been done for them. Plus, it's um, this current house is only 10 minutes away from their college. And before she had the option of living in a bad dormitory or drive hour and a half, take a bus hour and a half to get to the school, which would have been impossible for a young girl her age um, in a country like this. So she's very grateful for all the support and generous donations, hoping that it continue next year. <laughs> This is Lamina, she's from Dergun, and her home is 
about an hour and a half from the college. And she was one of the girls that didn't live in a government dormitory, but lived at her parents' house. But it was an hour and a half away. And the road to the college was dangerous most often, and it was long. She said she would spend most of the day waiting for the bus, taking the bus and getting home when she should have been spending it studying. Um, by the time she would get home, she would have been tired and would have less time to study and, and do her other work. So now that this house has been provided, she's able to come here and feel safe living with the rest of the girls that are Christian um, and, and not having to worry about long drives, about taking the bus and being in that danger. So she's thankful again and grateful for all the support and the generous donations from different people. This is Mary Toma. She's from Iran and she's studying kinesiology. Um, she is, of course, she lives an hour away from her college. And she was saying that she had heard of other dormitories that were ran and how the conditions were horrible in them. So she had decided not to continue her education. But when she heard about this house and how close it was for the college, um, she decided to come back and continue her education um, just to avoid the long drives. And where she's from, it snows in winter and it's really dangerous to be in cars, in a bus every day to get to the college. So she's very grateful that through the, the generous donation that this house has provided, she's able to continue her education and, and, and study and become, get her degree. So again, she's very thankful and grateful for everything that has been done for them in this house. So the girls are in uh, this convent, in the dormitory of this convent. Uh, Help Iraq discovered this last year and saw that it was empty and asked the sisters if, if uh, we could rent it for these girls. And student to student did this and for the past year they've been paying the rent for this, for these young women to, uh, to continue their studies and to really build a better future for themselves and, and for their families. And so with your generous support, thank you so much. Uh, we love you. Uh, these young women are very grateful. Continue to pray for them and, and continue to support them in any way that you're able. God bless. So here we are finishing our visit to the student house here in Kahok that is supported by S2S and Help Iraq. And as Deacon Jai and I went around and asked the students what else would they need, what else are their needs here in this house, and all they asked for is that this house continues to be to exist for them next year so that they can come and study and be safe and live together as sisters. So we ask for those who supported this house this year to continue their, their generous donation and do the same next year until we have, you know, this group of girls uh, get their degree and finish their school. Thank you and God bless all of you.